Hey there guys, what's up? Have you ever asked yourself if you are efficiently using your time in creating videos? I know that veteran content creators are efficiently using their time in creating videos, but for those people who are just starting out on YouTube, you know that you need help. Don't worry about that because on this video, I got you covered and we will be giving you tips on how to efficiently use your time in creating videos on YouTube. But before we do that guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and go on that bell. Hey Freedom, my name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. So you want to be more efficient in creating videos on your channel, there are actually multiple ways on how you can efficiently manage your time to create videos on YouTube. Along the way, you will get a hang of it and you will be able to manage your own time. But if you don't know where to start, we will be giving you tips on how to do that. So guys, enough of the chit chat, freedom, quick tips. To efficiently manage your time in creating videos, let us first optimize your tasks in the menial work. Number one tip, video uploads set to default. You can set your own preferences when you're uploading your content. You can set the video privacy, category, the title, the tags, and other elements. Set these up right from the get-go to keep things easy. We also do this when we upload our videos. We make sure that all our metadata has been written down, but the things that constantly recur in our uploads are the ones we retain. We just edit some parts of the metadata. Number two is you can set advertising rules. Of course, we want to monetize our videos with ads. With this being said, you can set your preferences in your videos so that when you upload a video, you don't have to look at it again. This is one way to optimize the task you are doing during uploads. Number three is use a template for your thumbnails. Sometimes creating thumbnails seems to be menial, but when you think about it, it's one of the things that gets someone's attention. Although, if the design of your thumbnails are similar, you can make a template that will allow you to reduce the time you are making thumbnails. It will help you reduce the amount of time you will need to come up with an idea of the thumbnail. True story guys, sometimes it takes me 30 minutes to an hour to have an idea for a thumbnail. So if your thumbnails are very similar, you should make a template out of it. Number four is end screen templates. All right, like thumbnails, end screens are the same. You know those parts of the video where thumbnails pop out during the end of it? It's visually appealing that you will be able to create end screen. End screens are like your last line to get your viewers to stay to browse your videos more. If you can notice in our videos, we have a default end screen as well. Let us know guys if our end screen is effective or if we need to create another one. Number five is auto manage viewer comments. So with the new YouTube rules that is kind of strict about audiences comments, saying negative and unnecessary things on the comments section will get your channel into trouble. You will need to make things easy for you and filter out those words that you do not want to see on the comments. Now that you guys know how to optimize your menial task, let's go on how you can optimize or efficiently shoot your videos. Number one is make a program calendar. A calendar can help you plot out your time. You will need to maximize the time you spend with your shoots. You need to plot out realistically your shoots because you need ample time to ready yourself and record your content. In the office, I usually have one or two hours to shoot my content every day. I actually use that one hour to goof around and make myself comfortable. Don't tell my bosses that, okay guys? Number two, if you have equipment or if you need equipment, you need to advance set up those things ahead of time. You will need to set up your studio ahead of time when you make your videos because if you don't, you will have hours and hours of preparing your set. If it's a big set, you will need several people to help you out. But if it's just a simple set, you can just manage it by yourself. You have to plan that out ahead of time to get the maximum recordings you have on your shoots. Number three is plan a video library. A video library are archived videos that you have at your disposal. You will need to advance produce all your videos so that you won't miss a beat. For example, if you're sick and you can't produce a video on that week, you still have content from before. This will help you cover up for those weeks you cannot make videos. And that's the episode of Freedom. Do you have other tips for us that we can use so that we can efficiently use our time to make videos on YouTube? Let us know down below. Also guys, if you have a friend who is starting out on YouTube and does not know how to manage his time or her time, you can always share this video to them so that you can help them out. Before you leave guys, please do me a solid by clicking that like button, subscribing, and gonging that bell. My name is Noel guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, Freedom. Quick tips. I'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.